Hello everybody, a little walk and talk. Enjoying the beautiful autumn collars. Ain't that wonderful? Real pretty here this autumn. Autumn's one of my favorite seasons. You know the collar. You know all that collar. Yeah. I'm doing a little thinking. Kind of get one of them normal irritations. You know, you, you get when you have some uh, really argumentative uh, unbeliever. Uh, the ones that kind of give you the comments, you know, that religion's to blame for all of the evils of man uh, tell them that that's don't blame that on God and then they give you the line God's the evilest one of them all look at all that he's killed well, that, that's really a stupid argument it's one born out of ignorance It's true that many atheists read the Bible more than Christians do, you know. That's a... They're not reading it to find truth. They're reading it to find flaw. You know, they, they want you to give you some evidence of God. You can give them all the evidence in the world and they ain't going to believe it. The evidence was for me anyway. I can give you my testimony, believe it or not. That still ain't gonna save you. I can't save you anyway. My job, I'm here to save you. Between you and your maker. The one true living God. Yeah, there's just one. Yeah. Those people that say that God's a big murderer and they use the examples from the Bible. You know, the Canaanites being eliminated. All those people. Well, if they need that a little bit better, they find out why. And you also realize that if God didn't eliminate these people, then he wouldn't be a very good loving God after all because he's allowing an evil, corrupt, and very damaging thing survive. We would not be here if they did not get rid of those people. The flood, yeah, you wiped out all of mankind except for that one family. Because that corruption was so bad, that one family was the only one that was not infected by it. If he did not wipe them out and save that one family, then God truly would not love man. But it's because he loved man that he did give him a chance through that family to survive. Yeah, and you got all those other arguments like why did he allow it to happen in the first place? We can argue all these things till we're blue in the face, till the cows come home. You can get nowhere. What they call them the mysteries, you know. Mystery of God. Because no one can understand God. And you can't categorize God under human terms anyway. Because he's beyond the physical. Nothing physical would be without God. So, you want to know? I don't know. Because I don't know God's mind. That doesn't mean I can't know God. God wants a personal relationship with you, too. He is a personal God. An impersonal God 
would not care to give you beauty on a mind to recognize it. You have to have contrast in life for there to be life. It all goes to that question, what is good, what is evil, what is right, what is wrong. It seems that all men have it in them to know it. Program there to begin with. But their minds and the dark hearts of men sometimes manage to blot that out and replace it, rationalize it. So that it seems right in their eyes to do the thing which we know is wrong. We're all hellbound without Christ. And for those of you that don't believe in hell, I've been there. Don't tell me it don't exist. I won't believe you. Now, I'm going to continue my day. Now that I've got that off my shoulders, I no longer allow that immature, hate filled atheist's comments to uh, ruin my beautiful day. Another day that God has made. His everlasting glory continually. Creating something new. For us all. Peace, love, and understanding, everybody. Have as good a day as me, at least.